Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a Scentsy haul. I have a little haul here for you guys. I actually just picked up some things because I know the Bring Back My Bar is going on right now. So that's what I really aimed for. I know there's a clearance sale coming up and I will probably shop that as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you everything that I got during the Bring Back My Bar event. I don't think everything here is actually all Bring Back My Bar. So let me do the first two that are not. So. I have pomegranate Prosecco. This one is really pretty in pink and got pink wax. Um, this sounds like it should be a spring scent and it smells like it should be a spring scent. It actually has like a slight floral tinge to it. Oh, but it smells so good. It really does smell like if you had like a mimosa with pomegranate juice and not with orange juice. That smells so yummy. That's gonna be great, especially like, I'll probably melt this like right around Valentine's Day. Like that's the perfect scent. And then I have blueberry cheesecake, which I've been dying to get for a long time now. It's this gorgeous, like dark blue, purpley wax. And then, I mean, packaging and kind of cream wax, cheesecake color wax, if you will. It really does smell like, like a classic New York cheesecake with the blueberry compote on top. So it smells really good. Um, I'm curious if this is going to be a low thrower or not, because every cheesecake that I've ever had, um, that's like a wax or candle is pretty um, low scented. So it's not like a very high thrower. So I'm curious to see how this one is, but I've been dying to pick this up ever since it came out. So I finally got it and I am going to try it. Okay, now let's go into the bring back my bar stuff. So I got a few coffee scents just because I saw them in here and I might have to add them to my club. And I think I'm going to start a club because I haven't had one before. So the first um, coffee scent I got is Hazelnut Latte. Um, this one is a lot sweeter than I thought it would be, which makes sense because if you ever ordered a Hazelnut Latte, it's gonna be sweet. And I do love them. And it really does smell like it. it. Smells like a coffee with a lot of milk. Like if your coffee was this color, that's what it would smell like. And then the other coffee scent is Perk Me Up. Now this one, this one smells like coffee. It smells so good. It's honestly not too strong though. Like I don't think it's black coffee or espresso in any way, but it definitely is like Folgers coffee with a little bit of half and half or something. Like it's not really sweet. It's pretty simple. I'm excited to see um, if it's really strong or not and then pick up more bars because yeah, I'm really liking this one. Um, some gourmand scents. I have crumb top. This one sounded really interesting, like basically a muffin top. And that's kind of what it smells like. It's like slightly caramely too. It's not very strong right now. It might need to cure a little longer. I feel like this one isn't very strong just yet. So I'm going to wait to melt that one. And then I have a vanilla cream. This one is honestly just like a super simple vanilla scent. Oh, hi, Kai. Kai has come to join us. He just took a nap. Oh, his his collars are all messed up. You want to smell it? Here, smell it. Okay, well, Kai joined us, um, and now a car alarm's going off, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. But anyways, vanilla cream, very basic vanilla scent. Kind of reminds me of vanilla bean buttercream, but I don't... It's not as good as vanilla bean buttercream. Nothing can top that one. But yeah, it's just a very basic vanilla. I think this will be really good to mix with things, so... That is vanilla cream. And then I have sticky cinnamon bun, which this one sounded exciting, but it's like, it's so cinnamony, it's a little too much. So I think I'll have to save this one for the fall because it's almost like, to me, it's red hot cinnamon. It is not like a bakery cinnamon. It is very strong cinnamon. So I'm gonna have to wait till the fall and maybe I'll like mix this with a pumpkin scent and see how that goes. So that is sticky cinnamon bun. And the last gourmand that I have is coconut pumpkin pie. This one is really pretty packaging. This looks like the inside of the pie, like if you were to actually make that. Um, I think this is a really fun, unique scent and it smells so good. It's like a very soft coconut, almost not like coconut flakes, more like if you had like coconut extract, which I don't know if they do that, but you know, they have vanilla extract, almond extract. This is kind of what I get 
from this one is like a coconut extract. Mm, it smells really nice and soft and creamy and really yummy. So I'm gonna have to get some more of this one, I think. Um, this one honestly could go year round for me because it does have co coconut, but I really don't smell any pumpkin. So that is coconut pumpkin pie. I'm very impressed with that one. And then I only have two more, so I have Peppermint Rush. So I always like to pick up a peppermint scent during the um, winter time. This one really smells like candy canes to me, like super minty, almost smells like a mint that you would get like at a restaurant after you ate. That's really what this one reminds me of. So I expect it to be a high thrower and I'm excited to probably finish this in the next couple of months because it's not gonna be cold here for much longer. And then the last one I got is Cucumber Lime. So this is a nice one for the summertime. And woo, it is very limey and super fresh. Like it almost has a little bit of aloe in it as well. So that one smells really great. This is gonna be good when it's hot outside and I don't want anything gourmand anymore. So that is Cucumber Lime and that's it for my little Scentsy haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. There will be more to come. I am trying to cut down on buying body care and buying candles. So instead I'm gonna buy some wax and I am moving soon. So my like warmer situation is probably going to change. Um, I'm moving from a three story townhome to a two bedroom apartment all on one floor. So it's definitely gonna change. Um, and I will update you guys as that stuff happens, but yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.